Three short years ago, Pokemon Sun and Moon came out on the Nintendo 3DS, so I'm thinking, what better way to celebrate these games than to do some battles with the final evolutions of the three starter Pokemon? Earlier today, I got a shiny Alolan Sandshrew and just ate eggs, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to do some battles with the Alola starters. I did throw in three of the Pokemon on the team just to see if I could like trick my opponent into thinking that I'm not choosing all three of the Alola starters and I'm going to sprinkle something else in. Even though really, we're choosing all three. And Primarina likes this team. Primarina really likes that team. I'm not going to lead with it just because Lucario is steel and it's probably going to have ways of dealing with Primarina, so I, so, well, they're all fighting types, mm. I'm gonna leave with Decidueye, and then I'll go into Primarina and Incinor War. All fighting type, hmm, well, this will be a fun battle, they probably know they're gonna have to deal with the Primarina, so they're gonna have to, like, lead Lucario or something to deal with it, because you see a full team of fighting, and you have a Primarina, any rational person would leave with it, would leave with the Primarina, but I'm not going to, because I want to preserve it. Because you're probably going to send in the Lucario first, because it's steel fighting. I, I, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I can't predict opponents switching out well, just because I don't think of that, but I can predict what they're going to bring. See, there's the Lucario. And it's a shiny Lucario, of all things. Okay. I mean, I'm a shiny hunter, so I'm not going to call out every shiny I see hacked, but... If the other two are, then I'm questioning. And I'm just going to go with the Spirit Shackle. Get you to stay in. Do a bit of damage. See how much it does. And then we'll see where the battle goes after this. Drawing. Beware. Are you shiny? Oh boy. Shiny beware. I bet the third Pokemon's going to be shiny. I bet you, bet you 20 bucks the third Pokemon is going to be shiny. Hmm. I'm gonna stay in and Brave Bird. I got I got coverage on this Decidueye. I have everything. Now beware has got some bulk to it when it comes to defense, but this should be enough to take it out. And it is. Now are you going to keep your Lucario for the eventual Primarina? Or are you gonna go into something else? And Camillo, okay. And it's a shiny, great. Well, that just leaves room for me to go into another Brave Bird. So, this sh the could it could take out the Kamo Flamethrower. Of course you're faster. Live. Come on. Live. Oh. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have a Ross Berry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At first, I was thinking about giving this Decidueye a Citrus Berry, but then I was like, no, just give it a Ross Berry, because then it doesn't have to deal with damage cuts when it gets a burn, and you live. How dare you. Well, Primarina can just come in. I also have the Incineroar. Incineroar has Outrage. I could wait. I, any rational person would go into Primarina knowing that it's a dragon type. And then it can't Klingorious Soul Blaze me. But I'm going to go into Incineroar just because I want to show off all three of the Lovin starters. Because that's what this video is about. Alright, so I'm going into the Incineroar. War. I'm gonna go for an Outrage. Camelo already outsped me. Already outsped Decidueye, and they all have 80 in their speed. So Camelo's gonna outspeed me into... I mean, going into Klingorus Soul Blaze wouldn't be the best decision just because of how low you are, and it wouldn't really do anything. Because I'm gonna take you out. So... Yeah, I'm just going to the outrage and we'll see we'll see what Kamalo does. And they're going for the Z move anyways, okay. I mean yeah, you're getting all your stats boosted and your speed, but I, I don't think you can KO, KO my Incineroar. I don't think it's gonna happen. Now we just have to sit through this long animation of it shaking its tail, shaking its booty, doing its dance to get the stat raise. Question is at full health, do we live the Kangaroo Soul Blaze? And... We do. Alright, we can take it out with the Outrage. And then use Outrage on the Lucario. And then... Maybe we have something? No, Lucario's gonna outspeed me. Hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. So we get rid of the Camillo. Lucario is going to outspeed and KO and Sinor. But then Primarina has to deal with Lucario, which is, like, good. And also bad, because Lucario is steel type. And it probably has something to just jab me with and take out Primarina. Because it's specially defensive, not physically. And, I mean, it's probably a special Lucario. Most Lucarios I see, they're special. The Lucario I run is special. But it can really go both ways. So there's the Mega. And... It's a physical Lucario. Mm. You know, if we switch Primarina in, it might not live. Because it's all special investment. It's special attack and special defense. Mm, we might have to get lucky here with the Primarina. I'm going to go for the Moonblast. Lucario is going to outspeed me. If I live, then we should be fine. Moonblast should be enough to take it out. It's neutral damage... Primarina has, like, one of the highest, highest special attacks for water. Yep, there's the outspeed, and... We live! And, come on, take it out. Yes! One, zero, so far. I think I'll only do, like, two or three battles, just for time and the fact that it's later in the day. So, yeah. I'm also eating popcorn, so... This is just a good situation all around. Alright, we've got another battle from this guy from Germany. Let's see what he has. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Primarina can take care of things pretty well. So can Incineroar. Yeah, Primarina and, Inc Primarina and Incineroar have this. So I'm going to lead with the Incineroar and see how this goes. He only has three Pokemon with items. Hold on. Huh. Guess I know what I have to deal with. Okay. Just realized that now. That's odd. It's very odd. Well, it's letting me know what I have to deal with. Oracorio, Sceptile, and Charizard. Question is, it is, is it a Mega Charizard X or Y? Because I can't deal with Mega Charizards. And... Ooh, shiny XL Gord, Master Ball. Oop. Shelma even in the decks? Shelma and Carablast? I don't even remember if they are or not. Here's the Intimidate, but that doesn't matter because you're a special attacker. Now, you're probably going to want to switch out. Because you don't want to deal with Cinnamore. But I'm going to use the Flare Prince anyways. Because... Yep, there it is. See, the smart thing to do would have been expecting the switch out into a fire type, whether it be Charizard or Corio, or Corio, and then go into the Primarina. Wait, Axelgor didn't even have an item. I guess it's supposed to be like Final Gambit Cheese, and there's the Oracorio, not Charizard. So I guess the last Pokemon would be Sceptile, since it was the only thing with an item. And that actually did a fair bit of damage. Thank you, Flare Blitz, for being a strong fire type move. Um, a Darkest Lariat should take out the Oricorio with its health being there. Around that's like around like seventy five percent ish, little less. Ooh, Air Slash! Please don't flinch. Please do not flinch. Yes. All right, take out the Oricorio. All right, cool. It's enough. Now, you're not. Mm, are you going to want to bring in XL Core? Because the last Pokemon could be Charizard unless you just didn't bring up a fire. I mean, you don't want to in these situations. And it is XL Core. So I can go ahead and take it out with a Flare Blitz and then see what the last Pokemon is and then call it a day. <laughs> Alright, so there's the Bug Buzz, but that's not going to do an anything to Incineroar. Incineroar lives, goes for the Flare Blitz. And... There we go. Now we can take out the last Pokemon and call it a day. You're not going to want to bring Double Fire in a 3v3, so I'm going to guess you have the Sceptile, since that was the only thing other than the Charizard with an item. So I'm going to go into Decidueye. If you do have the Sceptile, then I get a free KO. And yes, yes it is. Cool. And it's a shiny Sceptile too. Hmm. Skeptical. Sceptile is also one of the shinies I have to go for. I have just like a long list of shinies I want. Like Sceptile... Ponyta and Rapidash, Galarian, not Galarian Marowak, Alolan Marowak, but let's just go for the Brave Bird and take care of this.
Mm, Mega Sceptile, okay. So if Decidueye somehow doesn't take it out, which I'd be very surprised if it didn't, we do have the Prune Marina to move Blast into it. Come on, live. Live. Ooh, that was a crit, okay. Alright, Brave, Brave Bird should take it out. This is just super defense tanky, and oh my. Alright. And I am not faster, so I'm gonna go down in this turn, this next turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna click Brave Bird anyways. I'm gonna get outsped, I'm gonna die, and then I'll just go into Pre Marina. And then And then we call it a day, boys. And I got popcorn too. It's a good day at that. I've got a shiny. I've been winning battles so far. I haven't done competitive in a while. And it's nice to know that now that I'm getting like back into it after a bit, I still I still know what I'm doing. It's reassuring, you know. Alright, gonna go into the moon blast and then we can call it. Mmm, Gago Drain. Please don't die. Nice. Alright, take it out. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you are done. Even if you were at full health, I think Moonblast would still take you out. And there we go. So, I'm gonna leave this video here. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Thank you very much for wat watching. I'm gonna go eat some food, because that's what I like to do. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.